In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. A reading from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 2, verses 12 through to 23. After this, he went down to Capernaum. He, his mother, his brothers, and his disciples, and they did not stay there many days. Now the Passover of the Jew was at hand, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. And he found in the temple those who sold oxen and sheep and doves and the money changers doing business. When he had made a whip of cords, he drove them all out of the temple with the sheep and the oxen and poured out the changes money and overturned the tables. And he said to those who sold doves, Take these things away. Do not make my father's house a house of merchandise. Then his disciples remembered that it, it was written, Zeal for your house has eaten me up. So the Jews answered and said to him, What sign do you show to us since you do these things? <clears throat> Jesus answered and said to them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I'll raise it up. And the Jews said, It has taken forty-six years to build this temple, and will you raise it up in three days? But he was speaking of the temple of his body. Therefore, when he had risen from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this to them. They believed the scripture and the word which Jesus had said. Now when he was in Jerusalem at the Passover during the feast, many believed in his name when they saw the signs which he did. Glory. To you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and teachings. Help us to see the signs. In the scripture reading from today from St. John, we read about Jesus cleansing the temple. We see how when he came in there, he saw all these people selling goods and stuff in the temple. He, he was angry when he saw this. All the sheep wandering around and the oxen. Money changes. He got angry and made a cord of ropes. Or a whip of cords, I should say. And he started hunting everything out, ripping the people, turning the tables upside down. He was angry. And he said to those who sold doves, take these away. Do not make my father's house a house of merchandise. And then the disciples remembered that it was written, Zeal for your house has eaten me up. The temple, the house of God, has become a marketplace. This made Jesus very un unhappy. The Jews answered and said to him, What 
sign do you show to us since you do all these things? And then Jesus said something to them. They couldn't understand what he meant. And he said to them, destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up. They didn't understand. They thought Jesus was talking about this building. And as they said, it has taken 46 years to build this temple. And will you raise it up in three days? <clears throat> but Jesus didn't mean that temple. He meant the temple of his body. In other words, he's saying that you kill me and in three days I will raise up again. He will rise from the dead. Another way of looking at this is talking about the temple. And we know that our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. How many of us has turned the temple of the Holy Spirit into an unclean temple? We read how the temple had people selling things. How many people sell themselves? To sell their souls for many different things. Some people sell their bodies. Yes. Our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. During this Lent, this great Lent, we need to purify that temple, to drive out all those unclean things that are in there at the moment. Just as Jesus drove out all those people, they were defaming the temple by what they were doing. So too we must, during this great Lent, Purify the temple of the Holy Spirit that our soul dwells in. All that uncleanliness that is in us, we need to drive out. How do we do that? We do that through prayer, through fasting, getting rid of all the rubbish that's inside of us. going to confession go to the priest and confess all the unworthy things that are inside of you all those sins that you have committed pray constantly the Holy Spirit who dwells within you will help you will guide you will give you the words to speak. Yes. He knows what is in your heart. God knows what you have done. The Holy Spirit will help you speak these things. Bring them to light. Confess. Repent of your sins. Clean out your temple of the Holy Spirit, your body, through prayer and fasting during this great Lent. This is what the time is for. To refocus on God, not on the world and all those things that make you unclean. We all sin, every one of us do. We all need to repent of these sins. Call on the Holy Spirit to help you, to guide you. 
and every day give God the glory for all this. Glory to God for all things. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Most Holy Theotokos, save us. Amen.